Well, hello again. Welcome to Eurovale Eat in Provence. It's summer 2024. It's time for an update. There's been a few things going on along parts of the route. We're here in Riance, where we're going to start today's ride all the way to Salerne. It's about 50 kilometers. It's this stretch that uh, has been improved to some extent. Changes have taken place this year. So we're going to have a look at a few of these along the way. So let's see how things have improved. So we're coming out of Riance now and this is where we join the Eurovelo 8. The signs take you around the village on the bypass, which isn't very nice, but uh, there we go. There's the sign, look. And we're on the old railway line here. So we're at this junction here where the official signage takes you off to the right and up a very steep hill. Yeah, a lovely blackbird up there. To avoid this, and this here is the old railway line here. You'll see along this next few kilometres every once in a while these little red, red and white uh, bollard type things suggest there's going to be some work done here and indeed we've been in touch with the département and they are saying that they hope to get this section renovated in the next six to 12 months. And the stones are pretty loose here. It's not wonderful. much smoother here now and that's better than it was. There's a pumping station there, this Artigues water supply, that needs access so probably this has been maintained up to a point. So that was the unfinished section from outside Riens to, we're kind of midway between Artigues and Esparon. And this is where the recommended route 
is joined by us here. We've got a properly surfaced track now. It is the old railway line still, but uh, people are recommended to, although it's interesting, coming the other way, there's no sign, but the recommendation would be if you're coming from the east to turn left here and go onto the main road. So now we're on a stretch until Saint-Martin that is as was. Nothing's changed, but it's a proper surface. So this time of the day in the summer, these trees are very welcome shade. So, here Esperon. That's the beautiful station of Esperon. Again, a few potholes here. I could do the, another bit of resurfacing. And there's Saint Martel up on the hill there, in the distance. Saint Martin Station. When we filmed here last time a couple of years ago, this section here from Saint-Martin eastwards was very rough, very stony, very difficult to get across. But now, as you can see from there at the station, all the way along here, and it goes on all the way towards Varage for three or four or five kilometers. It's been completely resurfaced, very smooth, very pleasant. I can see a couple of uh, touring cyclists in the distance. So when we last filmed here, we went on the road here. There was nothing ahead of us, but now look, we have a cycle path. Well, this must surely be the biggest win of the whole day, where this, what, four or five metre wide bridge, or long bridge, is now, there was a gap with a big drop, and you simply couldn't use this whole section of uh, cycle path of old railway line. And now, with this bridge in place, we can cycle all the way to Varage, without going on the main road. I'll give you an idea of uh, how steep it was. It was impossible to get over, look. So this is the first of two tunnels. This is Varage Tunnel, and the next one is just for Barjon. They've both been resurfaced, so they're much more usable, but the lights aren't in yet.
this must be the second great win of the day. A modal filter has been installed between Varage and Barjol, which is really important because this beautiful surface on the old railway line is much more direct between these two villages, you're talking seven, eight kilometres, than the main road, which is something like 10 to 12 kilometres. So it's been very tempting for motorists to use this whilst it's been built. Now we've got a modal filter, well, they can't. So here we are in the Barjol Tunnel. Nice, clean, new surface, but as you can see, no lighting at all. And there's a big curve ahead of us here. So you can't see the other end until you get round the curve. Now, so we're looking forward to lighting being installed here so that at least we can see what's coming the other way. So one thing that's changed unintentionally here as we leave Barjon, this approach to the cutting, we tend to slide around a bit in certain patches as you climb the hill. This is another stretch that's going to be hopefully renovated soon, so we've got a decent surface. Similarly in the cutting itself, here, the bushes are starting to grow back again. They were cut back, what, three years ago now maybe, um, but they're encroaching. So again, maintenance required. But it's not yet the official route and the reason for that we're coming up to here which is a bit more consequential because we have to go on the main road so we're at the top of the cutting here and we're about to go on to the main road which isn't lacking in some traffic it's lunchtime so it should be quiet now but the issue is that over here Behind me here, where the gates are, that should be the continuation of the cycleway. What's missing is a bridge over a river that runs along parallel to this road here. So what we have to do for the time being is to go onto the main road for about three or four hundred metres. Which is okay, but you know, it's not that pleasant. So you might just see through the trees, the missing bridge there, as we leave Barjol. So now we can leave the road, and get back onto the railway line. So here's the bridge for uh, road traffic, which we have to cross over to get to the old railway line. Over there you can see this way, you can see where eventually we're going to go, but the bridge that's missing is along there, about 100 metres along there, so we can't take that yet. Okay, I'm gonna have my lunch break. We'll see you back here in, what, two or three hours when the sun is a bit weaker. See you then. Well, welcome back to uh, part two of this 2024 update. Have a look at who I've picked up on the way. Hmm, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so we can cycle together to Salern, yeah? Yeah. And then after we've done our task of showing you the update, and we're going we'll, to have a meal. we'll have a meal yes. afterwards and charge our bikes at Grand Chêne. Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. let's go. <laughs> Thank you. 
that's the end of our detour off the old railway line route because the main road took the railway line. This is the old road, in fact. But now we have to go on the main road. Want to go there and get the shade if possible. So we have just, as you've seen, been on the road for about a kilometre. This is a stretch that can be a bit unpleasant. You saw in the amount of traffic that was passing us quite a lot, quite fast. And yeah. on a Sunday. And on a Sunday. Yeah. yeah. It's uh, supposedly going to be changed. If you look along this north side of the road. Yeah, they want to put a cycle path in there yeah at the side of the road exactly that's so we're really waiting for that but that promise has been around for quite a long time and this junction is also very busy as you can very see you know yeah. So, my modal filter seems to have been slightly damaged here, but it's still intact. Bonjour. So, see on la cascade in summer, traffic jams. Down there. I think you can. This way was where we did it before. Uh, let's see. I think you can get through. Oops. Not clear where the cycle path goes here in Ceylon Lacascade. I don't think this is it, but there you go. I'm still getting through. And here's the nice little uh, snacky bar on the road. Yeah, so that was quite a nice stretch on the old railway line, but now, as you can hear from the traffic, we have to follow the main road. And the problem with the main road is that it's also used by lorries. So we're talking 300 metres or so to get down to the bypass for Salern with traffic. It would be really nice if there was a little cycle path down the side of this, but it doesn't look like there is as yet. There we go. So now, as before, we have to go on a cycle lane on this busy road.
very fast traffic. So this is the sign um, when we leave the bypass that suggests the Eurovelo 8 goes to the right on that board there. But we found that 200 meters further down the road straight on is a new cycle path which will ultimately be Eurovelo 8. So we have to go on the road here for the roundabout anyway. So rather than turning right here we go straight on. Here there's a bus stop with a bit of cycle lane continuing on down, so pretty safe. And uh, I believe this is it. It is in fact the old railway line. Here we are. Yeah, on road cycle sign. And in fact, look, the cycle way sign already up. Blocked for cars, very good. And you can tell this is the old railway line because now we're coming down to the old station of Salern with that recognizable building, which we'll see in a second. So there we are, 50 kilometers from Riance to here in Salern. With a few updates on the way that are quite significant, I think probably the most important and the most enjoyable would be that bridge that's been built somewhat west of Varage. Further west still, we've got a new surface on the road, on the, on the um, cycle path from the station at Saint-Martin, which is really helpful because put all that together and I guess we've got something like 10 kilometres of cycleway that couldn't really be used before. Coming this way further east, from Varage, there's now that modal filter which is um, hopefully reducing the amount of dangerous traffic heading up towards Barjol from Varage. We passed another one that's been partially destroyed by people who are complaining. There's a bit of political debate that we have to have a look at at some point, but broadly speaking, it's quite an improvement on that stretch. This last bit, well, I think to bear in mind the sign coming into Salern at the roundabout suggests you turn right, just come another 150 metres or so and you hit the old railway line again and here it is, a cycle path with a really nice surface that will take you right through Salern. So that's it for 2024. We'll be back again next year with another update. See you then. Mm -hmm.